Hello everyone, I'm Ashley from Young Travel Art. I'm so excited today to show you guys how to paint a scene like this using Chinese painting techniques. I'll walk you through step by step to paint the birds, the plants, and the scenery. Let's get started. First, we'll prepare our materials for painting. I put all the paint that I'm going to use in the palette. And then we do a pencil sketch of the bird. Make a general outline of the bird's head, body, and legs. Then we take our thinnest brush and dip it in the ink. But we start painting, it's best to wipe off extra ink with a napkin. First, we'll paint the beak. Pay attention to its shape. Then, we paint the eye, wrinkles, and other facial features. Let's add some color. First, dip the whole brush in yellow and then add red to the tip. We'll color in the head first. Notice how I use the brush to add different colors. When we paint the body and the wings, you can first add water and give it an outline. Then add some more water to color in the face. Make sure the ink has dried before adding this part. Now we paint the feathers below. Put more paint on the brush, tape to make it darker than the middle of the brush. Then water the brush down to make a green color below. And paint to make dark accents at the end. Then with two so right, we use the side of the brush to use both colors on the body. Leave some white spaces in between your strokes. We can then use some of this space to add blue at the bottom. After this, we start painting the tail with large swiping strokes from the bottom. Now that the ink about has dried, we can fill in the spaces at some more detail.
next, we will paint the cloth. Then paint the branch. It's pictured on. Now we can have fun with the background. Paint flowers, pie, pressing the brush, and then adding details with a tip. Make sure not to add too much water when painting the stamen and the pistol. Now it's time to paint some leaves. Add uh, whatever tropical plants you like. For this part, we can add more water. Then we use the for the flowers. You can experiment with different shades and the ratios of paint to water. We will paint the second bird, like the first focusing on the outline of its beak first. Remember to use your sunlight brush for these details. Use right to outline the top of its height. Then Make swiping strokes with the side of the brush to paint the body. Use the same techniques as on the body of the first bird. Add enough water to your brush to give a nice fluffy look.
naturally, there will be some white spaces in between your strokes. Don't worry, we'll fix those later. When painting the feathers on the side, we can go right for a dark color. This will add more depth to the painting. Of course, Chinese painting isn't meant to be as three-dimensional as other forms of art. Use blue to fill in feathers, then we can add blank to give it more contrast. As each layer of paint on the head dries, you can add more layers to give it more color. Now, as we pen its claws, think about how it's holding the branch. Then paint and the some plants and flowers like before. Be creative but try to keep a main theme.
and the end, I'll add some mountains in the background.